Hey, this is Poo Up. Hey, it's the Bell Bug C Streets. Hey, we're checking in on the industry's most wanted. I'm the first to break a pirates. Too much he had made it crap. Me go gave me shit that locked up quick. I had to bring it back. 56 hat went to 71. That was off the scratch. Broke it down, did it again in 87. What's the max? Gave it to my chest to wet. That bitch still said that shit was thrax. Hey, what's going on, man? It's your girl, Tampa Mystic, and we are live on the industry's most wanted podcast. Podcast. Cass, boom. I got some of my family here that I ain't uh, had a conversation with and seen in a little minute. You know what I'm saying? We got a couple spe- special guests checking in. Um, thank you both for being here early in the morning. The grind is real, ain't it, though? Oh, yeah. super. super real. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell us, break it down, everything that you got going on. What's happening is Poo Up. Well, everybody know Miss Poochie came back, revamped his Poo Up. Used Most to be signed to BMB. Came down here, PR run and everything. Right after that, like a couple months after the deal, like caught a dope case. Yeah. Had to go down four years. Well, first it was two and a half. Came out like 35 days. Caught another 18 months. Mm. Yeah, so it's it's been like a little drag, but it's finally over. I know, know that's right. Five months. God like, is good, though. Yeah. You here. Right. Absolutely. Right. Introduce yourself. Oh, my name is Bugsy Streets. I'm from the north side of Columbus, man. I'm a, uh, I'm an artist. I'm a whole bunch of shit. I'm a father. <laughs> I'm a, uh, I just got home to myself, man. I just did five, man. Fresh home. Just trying to chase my goal and my dream and just make everything work, man. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. I like that. We got to chase our goals and our dreams because we have to fall in love with the journey of what we're doing, right? Um, where are you from originally? Albany, Georgia. Oh, shout out to Albany. I right, Listen. Real quick sidebar, when I first moved to Atlanta, one of my first events I ever did was during Albany State Homecoming Week. I went down there and did the Industries Most Wanted Showcase, took Bigger with me, and they came and showed so much love. So big shout out to Albany, man. Where you from originally? I'm from the north side of Columbus. I was born in, in Bronx, New York. Though. Yeah, oh, okay. Man, I've been in Columbus since like 2002, my whole life for real. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. What took you out there? Your family, like, decided a change? Uh, nah, my mom was a heavy drug dealer for real, soiree, so I just had to come down here with my grandmother, her mom, and that side of the family. Understood, absolutely. Well, you shout out to Granny for making sure you had On a great thing, upbringing. Shout out to Granny, yeah, she's still thinking she's still here until you <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something. There's so something so special about Grannies, ain't it, though? Yes, 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 yes. They show you that unconditional love. And I'm the oldest grandchild, too. <laughs> I'm like 17 of them. But at the same time, it's like they, I think Granny show that unconditional love, but at the same time, they um, they show that tough love. For sure. She yeah. a bully and she like 4'11". <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty, yeah. That is, that's crazy. So, you know, take us back, man, to, you know, Albany, Georgia days, growing up out there, you know, um, before music was a passion, before you, you know, got in the streets doing what you was doing, were you, you know, into sports or were you aspiring to do something else early on? So your sports was my life. Yeah. That's, that's the only thing that I thought I was going to get out with. What you yeah. was playing? I was football. Okay. Made, I was supposed to have been somewhere. You know how we used to have it where everybody still got the football Friday night. Yeah. Football Friday night, I was on there. Yeah. yeah like, <laughs> they, they, it was dust. They, they just knew I was You was dusting them? Was, man, listen. <laughs> it, was, it was the way out. What it's, age did you start playing football? I was a kid. Eight, nine. Okay. Eight, playing with no hair. Little Pee Wee. Man, listen, I ain't Joint. even supposed to be on the team. <laughs> I done went and snuck on the team. I swear. The dude was like, man, that, that, it's game that he. You had know. heart. Man, I snuck you on had the heart. team. You hear me? I need to play. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> so you played until through high school? High school. I dropped out. Um, my grandmama died. That's, that's who raised me, my grandma. Yeah, understood. She was deep in the streets down in Albany. Everybody know her. Like, it was Liz. That was He's my dying. baby. So, man. Yeah, rest in peace, my baby. Yeah, she my condolences. That's tough. Oh, yeah. That's that hard. is tough. Especially a kid dealing with it. So that's why I said, man, I thought I was hurting somebody, but it was hurting myself. Yeah. So while I was out there in the streets, she was all I had. Life lessons. I turned to the streets. Yeah. So they embraced me, though. I ain't going to lie. Look at me now. Yeah. Man, you look you look good. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Um, was, were you in high school when your grandmother passed? Yeah. Yeah. Where did you go from there? When, when Granny passed away, where did you go from there? Did you go straight to the streets? Straight to them. Yeah. There wasn't, wasn't no pass go. Yeah. You feel me? I went straight there. Yeah. Um, my parents was like, on her side, was like hypocrites. Yeah. Oh, uh, she's still in the streets. We don't want you Ryan bringing that bad influence. So wow. I had to stay out in the streets. Like, literally, like, in the car with an orange sticker. We got to peel the sticker off. Yeah. Have somewhere to go. Me and my brother, we looked at each other and said, man, we can't do this. Yeah. Man, we just went full-fledged. 
the way we went full fledged, you looked at me and said, "Man, you got to get us out of here." Yes, it's music. Yes. By the time he's saying that, they found my mom and she just got out of the fed joint. She was up mm. in Ohio. That's how I ended up meeting my brother and stuff. As soon as I got down there, I got shot up. Dang. Soon as. Yeah. Wow. You know, I mean, just we know reality is when you are heavy in the streets, not always, but most of the time you're going to wind up one or two places, either dead or incarcerated. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the reality of it. So to be able to get up out that situation, even though you had to sit down for a little minute, you're here to talk about it today. You know, and I think that comes with growth and maturity, because at some point in time, you got to walk away from that, especially if you got kids. You want to be here to raise your your children. Do you have kids? Five. Yeah, so, yeah, you got to be on this side of the walls, you know what I'm saying, on, on this side of the ground to take care of your baby. So, I'm, I, listen, I'm proud of you. Thank you. We all, we're human, right? Mm-hmm. We all make mistakes. Ain't none of us better than nobody, so period, nobody straight like that. Now, nah, facts, you know, take us back, you know, Columbus, Ohio. Were you into sports or anything at a young age? Honestly, man, I don't even remember. I used to play football back in the day. But okay. I've been in the streets. I was like 11, man. Yeah, you dropped out the porch early. Yeah, yeah. It was like forest for me, though. I really, my mom, it's just me and my mom and shit for real. So yeah. I moved out here with my granny. I ain't know that side of the family and shit. They got drugs and shit going on. And yeah. I was young. So that's what, that's what I really grew up into. Like, So you moved from Columbus, Ohio to where? No, nah, I moved from Bronx, New York. Oh, you said Columbus. from Bronx to Columbus, yeah, Ohio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And then you're still residing uh, in Ohio? Yes, yes. Yeah. So same thing for you, man. How did being how did that street life change you? Ah man, me. That's like my name. Like the streets, it like changed me and it like it like matured me in a way too. Like yeah. that makes a little sense. Like I don't man. know. It's, it's like lesson learned every day though. There man. you go. It's lessons learned. There ain't no losses about none of that shit. Nothing. Man. All L's are lessons. Man, for sure. So yeah. I just right. as I got older when I was going when I was young, I wasn't really like I don't know. I was just going through. It was like freestyle. I was just going with the go. I ain't really put no thought into nothing I was doing. But as yeah. I got older, shit started to come together. And Absolutely. It had to come together. We, and that's what we have to do is whatever situation we going through, like I was speaking to you guys before we got on camera, um, I'm a believer that everything happens for a reason. Mm-hmm. The man above sure. makes no mistakes. At all. Oftentimes, he's going to sit you down to get you out of a situation, to give you time to think, man, is this the life I want to live for the rest of my life? Because if you hadn't been incarcerated, you probably would have continued on the path that you was on. And I heard you got shot as well. Man, let, let's, you know, and, and I hate to hear that, but I'm so glad that you're here to talk about it. You know, how did that change your life? For real, like you said, even as a kid, streets man you up. Yeah. You know I, mean? I, so. just, I just had did time with these people. We kind of had a little history, calling my brothers and everything. That's what really changed everything from yeah. a whole different perspective. Mm-hmm. Because being pushed out into the situation, like ain't had no family, so you looked to the people in the streets. This my family. Yes, understood. So same people that you look at to your family. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Regardless of what, but yeah, I got shot up four times, one in the head, four in the legs. <sighs> yeah, a quarter inch away from the brain, but. Even after last year, that that's a major blessing. God wasn't done with you yet. He said, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna keep you here for a while longer." You gotta go meet time. <laughs> you gotta go meet time. Yeah. Facts, you, baby. facts, yeah. exactly. And we are not on America's Most Wanted. We <laughs> yeah. on the industry's <laughs> Most Wanted. <laughs> yeah. Say that. Yeah, there we go. I swear. Do you have any type of residual like pain or anything from being shot? Do you deal with anything, or is there, are you back at a hundred? I'm, I'm a thousand. Yeah, I that's I'm beautiful. Better than I was. I, ain't gonna lie to you. I swear, I feel like I'm better than I was. Yeah. That human, I think, with with, with me <laughs> going through that, turned me to a superhuman. Absolutely, because it probably changed your mental. Yeah. And a lot of stuff that we deal with is mental. That's People it. who walk around all the time complaining about stuff, that's a lot of it's up head. here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because you think about, if you're not thinking about certain things, like, for example, if you have aches and pains and you ain't thinking about it, you don't it's feel it. It's yeah, it's a mental yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? So because you went through that, it's a mental thing that mm-hmm. you know you you better than that now. Yeah, that muscle is stronger now. Facts. Yeah. You like you, What superhero are you? And I want to put like a thousand of them in one. <laughs> if, I had to, if I had to pick Make one. a combo. All them niggas mixed together. <laughs> you hear me? Hey. Show your chest. <laughs> if I got to make one, if I got to choose one, though, I got to pick one. I got to pick Incredible. 
That's so wow. crazy because I was gonna say the Hulk a minute ago. I should have, I should have said it because I was, it was right there. I see that though. You know what I'm saying? You, d- yes, I was about to say you ain't green though. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we on the same page. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Um, so you said you have five kids. Five. How did fatherhood change your life? Um, actually, that's what really I thought was gonna change my life. Yeah. But that's not what the, changed your life. The kids' mom and had that plan for me. You hear me? They wanted some money. Oh, I, I wanted to be a dad. They wanted a check. You hear me? So it was a whole different situation of the game, how it came to me. So I was like, yeah, I ain't never had no family. Now I got my own. Man, I'm going to break my back for Stand them. on business. Stand on business. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. She said, you ain't in them streets. Ain't nothing, you don't got nothing coming. So. Yeah. Wow, really? Yeah, it's, it's, it's usually the, the opposite. <sighs> you feel me? When they, when they see, but I did it. Because when I came to the situation, it's all I, sh- I presented. Here go the money. Right, exactly. So that's all they was expecting. Exactly. Yeah. It, it's no shade, but a lot of women, that's what it's about for them. It's about a paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that they don't love your kids. Yeah. By no means. I don't mean that. But a lot of women, it just they expect that constant mm-hmm. money coming in. If you're not in the streets, the money may not always come in like it was. But some things you can't respect like that because everybody go through life. Yeah. And then everybody been a kid once. And you know what? Without a dad, what it did to you. Yeah. With so. a dad, what it did to you. I ain't have a dad. I don't know him. I can't even go out there right now and say, hey, yeah. go searching for him. I, I can't even. I already know what my dad look like. Man, nah. You know, it might be bigger. Yeah. You my dad. <laughs> <laughs> you my dad. OG bigger. He does have like 10, 11 kids now. <laughs> hey, you may on. be one of his offspring. <laughs> That's your seed, bigger. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Turn up, baby. <laughs> it be like that, though. You hey. know what I'm saying? Like, my son is a grown man and. To this day, he don't know. He would same thing. If he seen his dad, he said he just said this at Christmas. Excuse me, at Christmas time, my dad's birthday. He's like, if my dad walked by me right now, I wouldn't know who he I was. You know. know what I'm saying? Flat out. But I really think that, not that that's a good situation, but it probably makes you guys more of a man because you don't. To me, if you were, you're not taking care of your kids, when you're I not was, a man. When, when I was like, when I was same. young, I used to be mad at that type of shit. Like, damn, I don't know my dad, man. Yeah. Um, I get older, I'm gonna fuck that nigga up. Like, yeah. But as I got older, I'm like, damn, I just need to. I, I do do what he didn't do. You there you me? go. Make sure I'm there and make sure I, you feel me? I, I learned when I went to jail, like, I just call my kids every day. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, man, I, I, I did like that. Why you do what you do to get in jail? I'm like, man, y'all, y'all need this, y'all need that, y'all need this, y'all need that. And I learned that from my daughter. Yeah. She 14. She say, God, man, I'd just rather you spend some time with me. So, like, yeah. that time, shit, that, that means more than anything, man. So yeah. It does, but I'm going to tell you, I'm because I'm going to tell you why. I can't speak for little boys because I'm not one. But as a girl, as a female, our first love is our dad. dad Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, of course, my mom, you know, I loved everything about her. But my dad was so special to me because that's my first love. You know what I'm saying? Daddy's little girl, mama's boy. Mm. Straight like that. Um, Let me ask you this. And you can or cannot answer it. Is Would you say there's a lot of loyalty in the streets? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Oh, child, for you know it ain't. You know, it, come on. Listen. We ain't gotta get too deep. Man, I'm just this, this. This music is like a reflection of either, yeah. if either it's the person who telling their story or somebody else telling their story. Yeah. And what we keep hearing is it's the same cycle it's, over and over. It's yeah. Repeat yeah. Absolutely. So, so is it safe to say that a lot? I hear this a lot. I hear a lot of artists who came out the streets. Music saved my life. Is that a true statement for you? For real music. Say not even, yet. Even before, like before the football, I always had me. I used to write poems. Yeah. You feel me? But save my life right now. Yeah. Right now, streets in prison in my life has been a recidivism. Yeah. Complete circle on me. Absolutely. So, so. From the prison to the streets, prison to the streets. Like I don't get no chance in between. And then when I do get a chance in between, that's how we run. That's how we cross paths. Hundred percent. Because when I'm out here, I'm trying to fund this. So. That's 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 mm. that's what's been. And you met good back. people along your journey. Oh, yeah, that's mean, hard to come by. You know what family. I'm saying? Yeah, family. your family. Oh. Blood family. can't make you no closer. You guys are Bunch family. Ones. We doing day twos. Now. I know that's right. Yeah. I know that's right. <laughs> when people tune in and hear your music for the first time, is it safe to say that they're going to hear your life journey? Oh yes, word by word. Hear me. Listen, they go. That's that's the whole point about it. After we do these, look. Personality checks. Everybody want to see your personality. You know, yeah. that's some music. In order to feel your music, they got to know your life. No, that's facts. For sure, yeah, they so. got to relate. Absolutely. Yeah. What about you? Me, my music. I've been doing music since I was about six. 
Wow, you started young. Yeah, like I started young for real, but I just feel like it ain't no loyalty. Like the music shit, just like the streets. Yeah. Music, it's mm-hmm. like it's just wicked. It's just, it is wicked. It's a dog eat dogs. Like everybody says survivals. Like yeah. you just gotta survive. You worry about yourself. Like I think that's just life period. period. You know what I'm saying? No. Not trying to point at the streets or the music, just life in yeah. general. It's very rare that loyalty exists anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like it's all out the window. So with that being said, you know, that like they say it gets lonely at the top. Sure. And that's the reason why, because there's no loyalty. People, you're going to allow people to eliminate themselves. We ain't going to necessarily eliminate them. They're going to eliminate themselves. Um, People who haven't heard your music, like you said, it's going to be telling your life story. What single are you pushing right now? Right now I'm pushing So Fresh, So Clean. It's like a remake of it. I'm a country dude, so I'm up, I'm, I'm up north. I'm, I'm Midwest, you hear <laughs> Yay. me? So I, I got to give them, here this is where I come from, but in the same sense of giving them some, some little history to Georgia. Yeah. I put a little, little modern day here. This would this what I you love get. that. Yeah. I love that. Who produced it? Um Water Gauge. Shout out to Water Gauge. Um, Shout out to Water Gauge. Up and okay. coming producer. Yeah. He, he five. I love it. I love the fact that you're working with up and coming producers because a lot of times artists don't want to give these new producers a shot. They're like, man, you down there. I ain't trying to. Exactly. But they could be the hardest producers. Some of these, I'm talking like 14, 15 year olds be making them heaters. How did you link up with your producer? Um, For real, with my little name. Yeah. Social media and stuff like that. As soon as I came home, it's like, yeah. You hear me? So people always go want the opportunity. When they already know your story. Yes. So these Facts. producers is ones that already been around and knew the story. So when they see me back on the scene, oh, yeah, we got, they're just going to jump on this real quick. Like, 100%. So, yeah. When you came home, what was the first thing you did? <laughs> Honestly, called him as, called him ego. <laughs> me go I want to do music <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you Tell me, I ain't, we ain't sitting here a lot of each other you nah me? for real I'm, I'm cause people need to know your story man I, me go Listen. you know what I'm saying yeah and I appreciate you being transparent because I'll tell you why when people who look up to you and you because you're so transparent, that's going to make them relate to you even more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like our honesty helps us really rise up because when you out here living a facade and lies, I understand you don't want people to know all your business, but when you live in your truth, man, it's going to allow people to resonate. Like, yeah. bro, I, I'm going through that same oh, thing man, and they don't feel man. alone because mental health is real. Man, life. Crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, same thing. Like, you know, I, were you incarcerated at any point in time? Five years. I ain't been home 30 days yet. So you you fresh out. Yeah, I'm, fresh out, I'm so glad that you're here. Free yeah, to guys. Free, straight, yeah, free to free guys. To guys. <laughs> Music was one of the first things you jumped into as well? Yes, yes. Hell yeah. Because you've been doing it. Yeah, I was doing music right before I before I came home, but I was just like chasing the buzz. I really ain't understand the business aspect there you of go. shit. So I just went to, when I went in, I just learned hella shit doing there. So yeah. I just, I don't know. I just got it together. I'm ready to work. Right I know now. that's yeah. right. Well, thank yeah. you for being yeah. here. For sure. And I'm glad I'm probably one of your hey, first bro. interviews since you, you came out. You are. You are. Yeah. <laughs> My <sure>. dog. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what are you working on right now? Right now, I uh, I got a tape with uh, 808 Harold. Okay. Uh, my producer. I got a couple producers. I'm really messing with Young Doe right now. Yeah. A couple producers from my city. Uh, we got a song right now called, uh, what's that, Trippin'. Yeah, okay. We, got, we, just, we just going crazy, just working. Yeah. Like, put my foot on their neck right now, man. I'm just going to make them everywhere. They're going to see me everywhere. That's what you got to do. So. It's like, not that we have to prove anybody, prove anything to anybody, but at the same time, you have a point to prove. Yeah, I got a point to prove. Mm-hmm. I'm home now. Yeah, you yeah. going to hear me. Exactly. You going to see me. Yeah, say that. Sure, man. <laughs> yeah, say that. Yeah, there you go. That's just yeah. what's going on right now, man. We just working. Like, yeah. Big brother, like, ever since we locked in in like 2014, we've been locked every since. And yeah. yeah. He ain't never, he ain't never showed me no flaw. Like he been solid every since I met him. So that's what that's it's what's all about, on, man. man. That loyalty, like we said, is hard to come by. When you find somebody that's solid and stands on who they are, they too. you stick with them people. Sure. Any, uh, would you ever consider relocating from your area? Man, yes, I came home with no probation, none of that. I'm a free guy. I'm I like know that's right. Person right now, like yeah, go to Africa. <laughs> please, if you move to Africa, please take me with you. I will. <laughs> I, I have a friend of mine. She's from Nigeria. And we just had this very long conversation yesterday about how the United States is just. It's terrible. Ain't it, no violence over there like that or nothing. No, people here feel very entitled. People are lazy. Pe- like, I could, well, I'm not even going to get too Man. deep. 
Man, please, if you move there, take I'm packing my bags. I'm, we 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 gonna set up shop. Industry's most wanted, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the African edition. I'm awesome. with you, yeah. straight like that, most definitely. But you know, where, where would you want to go? Would you consider this area, like Man, Atlanta I market? I didn't want to come to the A, but it's like like a couple years ago, the A was like the main spot that everybody come to. Now it's kind of like you can like do your thing anywhere. anywhere now, yeah. So I'm really trying to just get out of my city because it's so much like. You feel I me? Mean? It's so much yes. hate, man. It's so much fake love in that in that area. Like, I just want to get out, do what I got to do, come back and handle my business. And you feel I me? Mean? Absolutely. Up, go up on my way from there. Like, yeah. I mean, that ain't my last stop. So I ain't about to live in Ohio forever. No, absolutely. And that's the thing. It's like we want to represent where we from always, sure. as I still carry Tampa. I'm from Tampa, but I'm up here. But this is not my last stop. No. I do eventually want to go somewhere else. Texas. Houston, Dallas, the markets are thriving. Right now, Memphis is thriving, but I, it's a little rough up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that might be my area. That's <laughs> but be Memphis is producing superstars. Man, you know well, what I'm saying? Memphis so, is turn right now. Yeah. Shout out Memphis. Too, it is. Yeah. They definitely on top of their game. Um, obviously, you guys are in this hip hop business. We celebrated 50 years of hip hop this year, right? Yeah. However, also uh, during the 50th anniversary uh hip hop itself and rap music was on like a 40% decline this year as far as sales and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. What is an artist like yourself going to do cuz we we want hip hop to stay on top, right? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do to change that narrative to make sure that hip hop stays on top? Hold on, I'm sorry y'all. I, I I thought we was talking about my country album I just <laughs> but, moon in the moon crickets. Hey. But okay, so that's what you're doing. Hey. You're incorporating other stuff into what you already got going on. That you answered it right there. From Boom. The south, from the south, you know, for real, my big feature. I ain't, everybody say, man, I want to go do a feature with this person, this person. Yeah. I said, I want to do a feature with Luke Combs. Now there Kane you Brown. go. You hear me? Man, it's go turn. It's go turn a whole different absolutely life. Oh, this country doing this just. Yeah, this is the image. This just, more. I love it. I want to be a cowboy. I tell everybody, tell me, ask me, hey, what you want to be when you grow up? Man, I want to be a cowboy. <laughs> and I, mean, I swear to God, I swear, I wish I was on you Yellowstone. You did say you a country boy. Man, okay, so so line. so you want to go deeper than that? When you retire, are you going to have like land, a farm, cows? Wrap around, poach. All you, that? You know, chickens running around. Saddles yeah, and... Yeah. That's the type of lifestyle, but I want to do it in Africa. Like, let's have a farm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Be Gosh, you could wake up every day and just enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. type shit. Absolutely. So you you already said it. Changing the narrative comes with oftentimes stepping out and, and tuning into other genres, mm -hmm. but still keeping it true to your roots sure. and where you came from. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Same thing with you. What do, what do you feel like you can do personally as an artist to, to keep the narrative where hip-hop stays on top? Me, I'm so versatile and weird, like, Little, I like weird. A little, a little, uh, <laughs> I started that weird shit like years. ago. I love it. I, I say I'm weird too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but my my grandfather, uh, he was actually like one of the first purpose, first people to start like that. Um, the first hip hop stuff. I don't. He always showing me these old ass magazines with him, Kumo D, LL Cool. Oh man. Yeah, my grandpa, legendary. He like nigga. I started this. Hip -hop. <laughs> I started this hip hop shit. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, I just feel like it, the right thing to do with me just keep that legacy going. There and, you go. And, and, and just build. Like I do all type of type of music. Like so. Mm -hmm. It ain't I do gospel. I do hard. Yeah. Do with Taylor Swift. Of course, as you Martin, should. Omar, anybody like you know. Oh, yeah, shout out Taylor. <laughs> There's money to be girl. made everywhere out That's here. Dope. And if you stay locked in with one genre and it's no shade it's, to the artists that do that, it's like you bump your head you're that. limiting the amount of the money, the cash flow. We want to get to the real bag, right? Mm -hmm. And in order to do that, you got to be versatile like you both are and be open to working with other genres. Because think about if you tap into the pop market, for example. I, so I, I plan on going pop in a couple years. Anyway. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like Change there's the, yeah. money to be made. Country, yeah. huge market right there. That's what it's all about, man. I love the fact that you guys, what about in, in right now? And I, I've been talking about this a lot and y'all probably going to get sick of hearing me talk about it. But yeah. Afro Beats. Major wave, you know what I'm saying? Is that a genre that you guys would want to tap into? Yes, I'm tapping into everything. I yeah. beatbox. Everything. Don't try me. Yeah. I can do a little something. <laughs> I can even make the porn sounds. Boom, chicken, uh -oh. wow, wow. Hey. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I need a mustache now. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> no, for real. You said the big thick mustache oh, like they right. had the old school one. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, that's crazy. Oh, that's Talk so about good. your album. Well, right now, I'll just go do the Gucci effect. Shout out Gucci. Um, yeah. With the hit after hit. Yes. Single after single. Yes. Get on their nerves. Then after they get a little here, now I'm going to put a project in your There face. you go. But for, for right now, I just came home and me saying I'm going to quickly jump into an album. That's me being selfish on what people who really been listening no. to my music won't. Absolutely. So they probably want to keep, hey, go on and build. What, you, you've been gone, baby. You've been gone for now. Tell us what you got. What you build that now. momentum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You're doing it the right way. Yeah. When you're making kind of a fresh start, as you both are, mm -hmm. you want to throw them singles out there. Yeah, build sure. that momentum. Build that core fan base. Mm -hmm. And you guys are doing exactly what you're supposed to do. And I want to commend both you guys for this right now. You're doing what you're supposed to do. You got to be in these streets. Mm -hmm. A lot of these young artists, they rely too much on social, social media. media. She just going to fall on their lap. Oh, I'm going to go viral. That shit don't work like no, that. No. Get out there and go get it. You mentioned yeah. your, your grandfather was talking about Kumo D and some of the greats, right? Think about guys like that. They didn't have social media. Hell no. But we talking about them today. Why? Because they became legends Legend. in the street. Icons. Icons. Social media sensations. We ain't going to be talking about them 20, 30 years from now. Yeah. So you guys are doing the right thing. You're out here moving around, shaking hands and kissing babies, as they say. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got your guy over here documenting everything behind the scenes. Who do you got with you today? Shout him out. Juice Visuals, man. Juice Visuals. Man. Shout, shout him out. Hey. Shout him. Not, only just, <laughs> not only just a visual, man. That's a, that's a man of many talents, many hats, I love it. man. You hear me? So and when I came solid. to him, he's solid. Solid. He a manager now. Yeah. You hear me? So it ain't only just a, a visual aspect of um, videography, but taking on to the management thing because like I said we all learning in a man of many yeah. hats yeah. I'll tell you he's one of the most important people that you can have on your team because I tell people all the time if you don't document it it didn't happen, it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. you whenever you're out here moving around you got to have someone like him with you documenting yeah, it because so. at some point in time you're going to want to put a documentary together about your life mm -hmm. right yeah. So you're going to need that footage in order to do it. That's why he plays a pivotal oh, yeah. part in your career. You know that. That's why he's here. That's why he shout here. out. Shout out. You said juice visuals. Juice visuals. Yeah. Shout out oh, juice. shout out. He, hey, that's a juice man over there. You I see me? you. Hey. <laughs> yeah, turn up. Yeah. No, nah, that's really dope. Um, so you guys are out here in ATL right now. What else you guys, you know, working on? You know, you got singles that are coming mm -hmm. out. I know you're, you know, like you said, you're both fresh out. Mm -hmm. It's like a fresh start for you. Shows. What are some of the things else coming up that we can expect from you guys? Uh, man, we just about to drop crazy. We about to just get real clumsy and drop everything. Man. Yeah. Like, they going to be tired. That's yeah. what they mean. I, just, I, I like know. that. We about to get, get real, real clumsy, clumsy and <laughs> drop everything. <laughs> I ain't heard that one before. You oh, better right. trademark that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. We're going to stop it then. That yeah. was hard. Okay, go ahead. We're just going to stay busy, man, and, and put in this groundwork that like a lot of motherfuckers ain't doing for real. Like, Facts. You don't see that people out passing out merch no more. Like you don't, you don't see that no more. Like, no, and it's not dead. Well, people appreciate that kind of stuff. Yeah, little sure. things. Little you know what I'm saying? Damn, you doing that, man? Hey, bro, I ain't even. And we finna go back to the gimmicks, like literally, like the gimmicks. Like take it back to the basics in the, in the streets. You know everything. So you got you got to incorporate the future with the past. It works on the streets. So now I'm finna get USBs. Period. I'm finna stuff them motherfuckers in like a little weed baggie. Get a little weed baggie. Yeah, cause yeah. then entice it a little bit, you yeah, know. Yeah, I'm serving. This is my new This my new dope. This my new yeah, dope. My yeah, new dope, cause baby. my music yeah. dope. I'm serving. Yeah. And you know, it's crazy cause I've never in my life bought so many CDs from what, but when I was in New York. I, w I went to Times Square. Let me it tell you, so every cheap, other man. corner I was buying a CD, I was like, damn, these boys yeah. hustling up here. Yeah, they got me for like $100 just in like two blocks. Yeah. I was like, CDs, CDs, $10. But I bought them because mm -hmm. I, I would rather see them out there serving the that kind of dope than, than the other dope. That's yeah. good, that could potentially land them in a bad situation. Mm -hmm. yeah. So definitely shout out to both you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. for I appreciate you both being here. Mm -hmm. um, tell them what the most recent single. Do you have a new single on the digital platforms yet? Uh, no, I don't. Don't I really? You don't, just fresh man. out, so you working on it? So I'm really working. Yeah, I understood. I don't, I don't say that's kind of embarrassing, but man, it's not it's embarrassing. So, it's so raw though. Like I'm so raw with it. Like yeah, yeah I just got out. I ain't got. You got to take your time. You know, you. I feel you got a sense of urgency, but at the same time, you don't want to rush it too much. Yeah, for sure. That's why everybody like when you dropping, when you dropping, when you dropping. Don't dropping? rush the process. Trust the process. Sure. You know what I'm sure. saying? So a new single coming soon. We gonna say it like that. Yeah, I got I got like like four new singles. I got one with uh Edway Hero um called What Kind. Uh, I got another song called We Ain't Bros. I got one with him called Trippin'. Uh, 
high expectation. I got so much. I just been going crazy. I love it. I love the Boy. fact that you hit the ground running. No excuses, right? Nah, hell nah. It ain't nothing holding me back. Like I used to be, be like, uh, like uh, I want to be in the streets, and nah, I don't fuck the streets. I'm cool. On the Absolutely. Streets. I'm like full time rapper now. I'm full time. This this what I'm doing full time. Y'all need to want to pay for features. I'm not trying to kick it with y'all. I ain't trying to do no business. None this of my, that. This my, yeah. this my business now. This how I feed my kids. This so how you eat and pay your bills and feel your that. kids. They can kick rocks. Especially they can, they can kick rocks. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And like my OG says, shout out to Bigger Rankin. He always says that we have to take accountability. First. Stop pointing the finger at other people and point the thumb. Exactly. And yeah. once we can do that, because it's hard for people because people got pride. Appreciate everything better. Yeah, exactly. We appreciate everything that comes to us, even the small things. Sure. Shout out to both y'all. Y'all like y'all are out here and you're gonna both win. We manifesting it. Swear that's all it is. Wake up every day and thank God first before right, anything, before anything else. else. You know right. what I'm saying? Shout out both you guys. I'm so glad you're here to have this conversation. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. To be here. Nice I'm so glad that too. yeah, a pleasure to meet you. I'm glad we got to reconnect. Oh yeah, I'm finna get a uh what you call that? Air mattress. I'm in here. We stuck. We stuck, baby. You, you just Facts. open that door. Open that door. Hey. <laughs> Are you going to still be here on Tuesday? I don't know, but I'm, I'm You going to be gone? I'm okay, I'll say pulling back. I'm pulling back. Let up. me know so I can connect you with the OG. Yeah. That'll I'm, be dope. And I hate that I had to break bad news to you when you first walked in about Coco me. Mika. Yeah, man. That's, that's long live Coco Mika for sure. Long live Coco. That was my baby. Like, yeah. 1029, in fact, will be three years since she passed. It's like hard to believe. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That was OG Bigger Rangas manager we're speaking of. And she was yeah. just one of our good friends, man. Yeah, she so was great. She was great at it, too. Absolutely. About her business. Yes. Yeah, Oh, she wouldn't let she, nothing get by. Yeah, she a hard woman, but she I love was her. hard. Yeah, I love yeah, her. That, yeah, she stood Mika. on business, boy. Um, tell everybody where they can follow you at on your social media. Hey, y'all can follow me on my social medias: Instagram, Poochie underscore Mr. Prince. Follow on the same thing every other social media. Um, I ain't gonna want to miss it, baby. And even if you try to miss it, we gonna recap it and push it. <laughs> you gonna see it either way. Me? It's gonna be like, like a rerun. That. We gonna be like the Martin Show on BT. You hear me? <laughs> Every day you gonna see the same episode. You hear me? <laughs> so what you gotta do? Keep it in their face. Tune in, baby. Tune Straight in. like that. Yeah. Where can we follow you at, fam? Uh, man, you can follow me on Instagram, man. Underscore C Streets underscore. It's gonna pop up bed bug on there. Bad bug. bug, okay. Yeah. That's, my, that's one of my other aliases. <laughs> yeah, bad bug, baby. Is, is that like a a a, a Nickname from your childhood by yeah, chance? Yeah, my grandma used to call me Bed Bug. That's funny. My my mother used to call me her Doodle Bug. You the Bed Bug, uh, I'm the Doodle, doodle Bug. <laughs> <laughs> and and we you you moved to Columbus. My mom from Columbus. We slick might be kin. Sure. This oh, my yeah. cut cut right yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Bed Bug and Doodle Bug. Then <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we had like a whole family reunion going on. Yeah. That is so dope, man. Um, who do you want to shout out to? I know you got a lot of people that are supporting you. Who you want to shout out to? Oh, um, I'm gonna shout out to everybody supporting me. Hey, I'm gonna shout out DJ Molly, baby. What's happening? Appreciate DJ you. I'm Molly, sh- for sure. Shout out to my brother down in Albany. Shout out to my babies and everybody who there. Baby. Yeah. No, don't don't turn your back on us, baby. We here. Facts. For sure. Yeah. For sure. And shout out to you for staying solid. Got to. Mm, That's all we got left. For <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, we break. all we got. Yeah. Straight like that, for man. Sure. Um, who you want to shout out to? Yeah, I want to shout out my babies, man. Shout out Charisma Tree, Tony Up. Um, shout out all my fans too, man. They've been all over me. Where yeah. are you dropping, bro? I'm about to pull up and kidnap. <laughs> <that thing, bro. laughs> they bro. ready for some heat. Yeah, They've been all over me. I ain't gonna fake, but I'm, I'm about to apply hella pressure, man. I'm about to be everywhere. So, yeah. And shout out my brother, man, because he put all this together. It wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be possible if he ain't put this together, man. So, thanks. And shout out to you too for staying for sure, solid, yeah. staying down. You here to talk Sento, about your your yeah, story? Yeah, for sure. Ain't man, no police shit. Ain't no none of that. Shit. <laughs> yeah, no Americans most wanted. No, no Americans no, most no. wanted. That's a whole inside joke, you guys. You don't <laughs> know nothing about that. I might keep that as a blooper. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Got to. <laughs> so my next question is. We ain't on America's Most Wanted. We on Industry's Most Wanted. Let's drop it one Industries. time. Industry's Most Wanted. Most. Boom. Yeah. Wanted. Go ahead and tell everybody what makes you the Industry's Most Wanted. Because I'm going to give you what you've been looking for that y'all missing. That that same little stride, that hungry, that story, and that gutterness. I'm going to give that back to you. Everything For that we've been sure. missing in the music. We I love it. Put it right back in your face here. Here with the story. This is what we came from. This is what this, is what this hip-hop originated from. Absolutely. Our story that we weren't able to tell. Facts. So now we can tell it 
Here, get it to him. Storytelling, yeah. changing the narrative, like I said, right. taking it back to the roots of where hip hop started. Yeah. Absolutely, that's important. What about you? What makes you the industry's most wanted? Make me the industry most wanted. It's the bed bug. Yeah, I don't, if y'all do like, like some research, I mean, I really ain't had no YouTube channel or none of that, but like a lot of shit these niggas doing now, I was doing that like, what, like 2015. Facts. Oh, dressing weird, doing yeah. all that. Oh, yeah. I've been doing yeah. that. I had to go here, all that weird shit. Now I come bald, tell it, yeah, like amigo. I love it. But uh, right now, it just made me most sad. I'm so different, man. I, I stand out mostly, man. Like, I'm a weirdo for real. I stand on that. Like, I love it. Me too. I love being weird. I like being weird. It's I, like being strange. It's like, it's the it's new different. normal to me, though. It it's is the, the new, new norm. norm. Yeah. Sure. So, we don't want to fit in. We want to stand out. Life, Straight like yeah. that. You got to. Gotta stand <laughs> out. <laughs> Y'all two are a whole vibe. Y'all three are a whole vibe. So, man, appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. Appreciate you both for being here. Give me some love, hey, man. Go, boom. Go. Hey, boom. Yeah. Absolutely. This is my kid right here. We up out of here. Find out it was something else. I swear I feed the fish to my brother from me, bitch. So I'm forced to get rich. I wish I had a quarter break.